Hello everyone, I'm here with the second group of the family concert for music. Everyone cheer! Yeah! <laughs> and we've got two teams for today. And the winning team, who knows who it will be? It will be either boys or girls. Boys! boys. <laughs> so we're going to find out. But before we start, we're going to play a get to know you game. And we're playing a game called Bang Bang. So I need three volunteers who know how to play the game. Yep. <laughs> Maybe a girl who knows how to play Bang Bang? Uh, I don't know how to play Bang Bang. I think. I don't know how to play Bang Bang. One person who is playing the best to be playing. It's the one where you call someone's name. Bang Bang. Bang Bang. Oh, that one. Yeah. You play it. You know how to play it. You know how to play it. Great. All right. So we'll have a demo, and Andy's going to be the guy in the middle. So Andy, come in the middle. So how it works is you have to know people's names. So if he says Bang Oscar, Oscar has to drop to the floor oh. and I have to say Bang Grace and she has to say Bang Lawrence. Whoever gets it first is the winner. Easy. And if I get her out, she's oh. out and she dies. Okay, I'm gonna die. Does it make sense? <laughs> so let's practice the four of us and eat her. Bang Oscar. Bang Grace. Oh. Oh, so she's out. Last three. Oh. Bang Jessica. Bang Lawrence. Oh. <laughs> Does it make sense? Yeah. So we all ready? Yeah. Great, so everyone stand in a big circle. I'm playing as well. Okay, I'm just gonna play. Oh, you're gonna play? Okay, I'll be the best. So I'll be the best. So in the circle. I'll go, I'll go the Oscar. Oscar. And I think mix it up. So, so Grace, Grace, come over here. We're gonna mix it up. And then Amy, come over. Can I just stand in the Oh, Sam, Amy here? Yeah. All right. So if you were smart, you would try to know the person across one person because that's the person who has to kneel right so you should know jeremy's name jeremy you should know olivia's name olivia should know oscar oscar you should know olivia yeah. so remember two people away from you yeah. so you will have to play andy and i'll give the fan praise so remember those names okay so are we ready does anyone not know how to play or we all get it Oh wait, no, can you just say bang? Or do you have to say the name? You have to say the full name. Bang, oh, Olivia, bang, <laughs> bang, Andy. Bang. So are we ready? Yeah. Bang, Amy. Bang, Jeremy. So Grace is the winner and Jeremy oh. died. <laughs> <laughs> so if I say bang, Amy, drop to the floor quick, okay? So it'll look good. Ready? Bang, Ethan. Oh. Bang, Ethan. Bang. Right, but so technically, e out. technically, Ethan is out. But you should, I think you should clarify to Ethan because he's young. So you're meant to go to the floor. So if I say bang Ethan, you have to drop to the floor. Show me you're dropping to the floor. <laughs> so, we'll, so we'll start again, okay? So everyone's back, everyone's alive again. So I'll make a harsher rule. If I say bang Jessica and you don't squat all the way down, you're out, okay? Because it's not kind of not fair, because you know? your partners can't see it. All right, we all ready? Good. Bang Owen. Bang Ethan. <laughs> that was so casual. <laughs> For bang Lucas. Bang, bang, bang. So you're out. Okay. Yeah. So he's out for not squatting. <laughs> Alright, ready. Bang Lucas. Bang Lucas. Bang Emily. Bang Emily. Bang what? 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 So, good tip is to know who's across you, okay? No, Alright, you're back up. I don't know who she is. I don't, I don't know who she is. So you should ask. You need to ask. So who doesn't know whose name? Me. So this is Jeremy, this is, say your name? Amy. Olivia. Olivia. <laughs> Emily. Jessica. Jessica. And Ethan. Andrew. <laughs> Owen. Owen. Aiden, who's dead already. <laughs> Ethan and Grace, okay? When there's four on the Ready? Bang Grace. Bang Owen. Bang Ethan. Alright, Ethan's gone. Bang Ethan. Bang Ethan. Bang Ethan. Bang Ethan. Bang 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 Amy. Bang Jerry. Jerry. No. no. Bang Jessica. Bang. Owen's name. Why do you have such a long name? 
Only girls, your voice is terrible. Mission failed. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Fang Olivia. Fang Amy. Amy is dead. <laughs> so we got a final two. Oh, the final three. three. Okay. Fang Grace. Fang Emily. Emily. So, the two final the contestants come over. Oh, and I think we've got to that. So, we call this. The cowboy stand up. So you guys are gonna start here and you guys can walk outwards really slow. And then when I say you won't, okay? Then when I say when I yell bang, you guys have to turn around and say bang Olivia or bang Grace. Whoever does it first, the winner. Now we need some dramatic music. Andy, play some dramatic music. Drum roll everyone, drum roll! Alright, you ready? Okay. And walk slowly, ready? Start! Walk slowly. <laughs> Yay. Yay. So boys on this side, girls on this side. And I'm going to hand out some programs for whoever seated it first. Me, I'm seated it, haha. So here. I'll seat it the whole time. And then, yeah. But you guys can share among the group. So everyone, you guys have to work as a team, okay? No, I'm not And we have one for the teacher, okay? Oh, I'm good. Feel it left. Oh, okay. Wait, what? I'm just gonna grab my music. What? Oh, yeah. So, everyone, this is not a problem. So, the camera, you wanna lift slightly up so you can see me. Yeah, because last time I topped my own head off. So, the, concert. so, the first person who's performing for our family concert today is Aiden Law. He'll be performing for us Sonata Opus 31 on the 6th First Movement by Beethoven. Please welcome Aiden.
Next we have Grace playing another Beethoven sonata. It is the Opus 14, number one, number two, first movement. Let's welcome Grace.
Thank you, Grace, for that performance. So before we continue, I want everyone to see how nicely dressed everyone is. And can someone tell us what the theme is? It's the same as last week's group. What's the theme? Princess, princess. What's it? King. Princess, princess, kings, and queens. And queens, okay? So hands up if you're dressed as a king. Grace. So we got a pharaoh here. How cool is that? And then Aiden, what are you then? A prince. A prince. Cool. It looks like one. How about you, Grace? A princess. Princess. And then? Princess. 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 No queens here? How about you? <laughs> princess. Just say queen. Oh. It's okay. We have a queen right here. Hello. <laughs> we have a queen. <laughs> Great. So moving on, we've got Jeremy Chang. He'll be performing for us six Romanian dancers by Bartok. Please welcome Jeremy. A big round of applause. <laughs> Let's try a different piano. How about we try this piano?
move on to Tchaikovsky. Let's welcome Aiden, Grace, Oscar, and Owen play Swan Lake Movement 1 and 2. We're missing a stool. Oh. <laughs> Andy, we saved the day with the stool for us. You guys prepare on one side. So what's the difficulty with playing a collaborative work? The main thing is to keep in time, in time okay? And it, there's always that, that tendency to rush, right? When things get difficult. So make sure you guys work as a group. So before we start, let's do our famous bow that we must do before any performance. All four of you up and then line up. Let's, let's see how good your, your queuing is.
All right, and moving on, we have a game between the boys and the girls. So this will be featuring their general knowledge and how well they know Bach and the four periods, but mainly the four periods for today. So we're going to start, and I'm going to nominate Isabel as my camera woman. Hello, Isabel, wave. Hello. All right, so are we ready? So there'll be multiple games. And whoever wins the most number of points at the very end is declared the winner, okay? So it's either boys or girls. So first question, and this will be a hands up first game, okay? What instrument did Bach play on? Whoa, that was good. Violin and harpsichord. Good. So that's one point for the girls. No. <laughs> How many children did Bach have? Oh, so quick. <laughs> You better, you better pray you got it right. Oscar. Um, 20 children, um, 10 survived, like about half of them survived. Okay, very good. One <laughs> point for the boys. Well done. Question number three. Name three characteristics from the Baroque period. Oh! Oh, 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 uh, counterpoint, which means what? Which means one melody copying each other. Ooh, that's technically <laughs> not correct. So, do you want to nominate someone to help me, you? Please, me! Oscar, Who Oscar. do you want to nominate? Oscar, Oscar. What's counterpoint? So, okay, Oscar, what's counterpoint? Um, counterpoint is like two melodies like keep on like countering like, each other. Like each other. Okay, good. Now, um, do you have a second point? Yes. <laughs> Ethan, second characteristic from the Baroque period? Oh, no. uh, so nominate yeah. me! Nominate me! So, do I, do I say anything, Oscar? So, Ethan, do you have a second point you'd like to say? So, do you have a friend you'd like to nominate? <laughs> right, so you have a second chance. If you get it wrong as well, then we're going to move on to the girls. Ha 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 ha. Give it to me. So, second point, Aiden? Give it to Terry and Byron the Contra Contra form. Also, including yeah. the fugue. Yep, so ternary and binary form, and then also including the fugue form. Okay, now third point. Can you get it? Um, contra contra form. What was your first point? Oh, Counter point. Okay, good. So we'll give it to you. All right. Yes! So one point for the boys. So two points. Two points for boys and one point for girls. Fourth question. This one's easy. List the dates of the classical period. Yeah. <laughs> Grace. Um, the classical period was from 1750 to 1825. Good, 1750 to 1825. Now you guys are even, two points <laughs> each. Now we're going to make it more savage. I'm going to nominate a champion from each team. You, can we choose? Can we choose? So for this one, you can choose a champion. Oscar, right, so Oscar, choose a champion. Oscar, 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 Oscar. 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 Of course it's these two. Well, obviously next round, these two are not going to be nominated by me. <laughs> so, how it works is... It's too late, Oscar and Grace. You two are coming. Yes. So, this question is only for Oscar. And if you don't get the answer, Grace has a chance to win your point. <laughs> so, ready? Name me five composers from the Romantic period. Um, Chopin, Tchaikovsky. Um, Chopin, Tchaikovsky. Um. <laughs> that's only that's only two. Oh, no one Greg, can help him. Greg, um, no one's allowed to help him. Greg. Greg. <laughs> Greg. Yeah. Greg, um, let's see. List. List. Yes. Three. I got one more. Two. One. Gaia. Like, oh, well done. Whoa. That's pretty impressive. Not many people can do that. All right, so one point given to Oscar for the boys. So now they're winning by one point. Now, the question for Grace. If you don't get this answer, Oscar gets a chance, okay? This one's pretty easy. So can you list, can you tell me the list of the different families in an orchestra? And can you tell me which orchestra was bigger, in the Baroque period or in the Romantic period? Um, the Romantic period orchestra was bigger. Very good. So what's and, this one? And then the families of an orchestra. Hope you're an orchestra. Ha -ha. String, like string, woodwind, woodwind, brass, percussion. 
Okay, good. And the girls get the points. So even right now. Down, both of you. Now I'm going to choose random. <laughs> right, you sit down, sit down. So from the girls team, I'm going to nominate... Jessica. Jessica. Emily. <laughs> I wonder if she studied. Emily, hop up. And from the boys, I'm going to nominate... Owen. Let's go, Owen. Let's go, Owen. Let's go, Owen. Clutch it, clutch it. Clutch it. What's clutch it? All right, Emily, can you list me the dates of the 20th century? And can you also tell me if the dynamic range was louder in the classical period or in the 20th century? It was louder in the 20th. Right, right. So which dynamic range was bigger? You want to go with that? Yeah. So what's the answer? Um, 20th. Yeah. And then list me the dates of the 20th century. <laughs> Late. 1800 to early 2000. Wrong! Sit down. Owen, you have a chance to steal the girls' points. Don't we love doing that? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> so, what is the date of the 20th century? 1900 to now. 1900 to now. Very good. One point for the boys, and now you guys are leading by one point. Emily, back up. So notice how we said 1900 to present, right? But technically, we're actually in the 21st century. So why are we not saying 20th century to 2000? Because um, piano um, century hasn't finished yet. So like the 20th century in the piano. Like, I wouldn't say piano century, but <laughs> technically, technically music hasn't evolved enough for us to say it's the 21st century. Does it make sense? So don't go to school saying, we are still in the 20th century. <laughs> I did that and my teacher looked at me like I was weird, okay? So make sure you know we're in the 21st century, but in the music world, we're still in the 20th century. Great, moving on. Owen, if you can't get this, Emily has a chance to steal your point. But what if Emily can't get it? Then does she have a second chance? <laughs> so what did it both well, get? We'll see what happens then. <laughs> Sorry, this question. Was there a piano in the Baroque period or was it popular during the Baroque period? And question number two is what was used instead? Let's go. Um so in the Baroque period there was something called a harpsichord. Right. And there was um very few pianos. The piano was mostly introduced in the classical period. Very good. So now boys are leading by two points. Oh. Sit down. And then sit down. Now I'm nominating new champions. I'm nominating Lucas. And then from the girls' team, I'm nominating Jessica. So Lucas, you guys are leading by two points. Let's see if you can carry it on. So there's two questions. First question is what is impressionism? And who started it? Ooh, I know. Ooh, I know. And, and if any of the boys try to help him, they lose the points. <laughs> what do you say? I don't know. He does not know. <laughs> so the girls have a chance to steal their point. Jessica. It's announcing time and creating a floating effect, and the starter was Debussy. Good. And can you tell me what, where Impressionism came from? What do you look at, and what turns it into music? Well, it was the Impressionism art. Okay, yeah. Art, artwork, yeah. and you turn it into music. Yeah. Great, and that's why the floating effect. Very good. So one point for the girls. And then... That's it. You two sit down. So boys are now leading by one point. Cool. Let's move on. Back to our performance. So next we've got Oscar Wang, and we're going to play on this piano again, performing for us Paganini Variations by Berkovich. Please welcome Oscar.
Great. I think you guys need to work on your cheering. So at the end of this round of performances, whoever cheers the loudest, boys or girls, will give, be given an extra point. Shout, okay. So let's let's practice our cheering. So three, two, one, cheer. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, pretty good. So let's try it. Our next performer is Jessica Huan. He'll be performing Nocton in C sharp minor by Chopin. Please welcome Jessica. Yeah!
thank you Jessica for that lovely performance. Next we've got four girls performing for us and they'll be performing for us March followed by Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy who is composed by... Trykovsky. Oh you got it right. Trykovsky. Great! Can the four girls come up? And a round of applause.
think you guys need to work on your cheering. So at the end of this round of performances, whoever cheers the loudest, boys or girls, will give, be given an extra point. Shout, okay. So let's, let's practice our cheering. So three, two, one, cheer. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, pretty good. So let's try it. Our next performer is Jessica Huan. He'll be performing Nocton in C-sharp minor by Chopin. Please welcome Jessica. Yeah!
you, Jessica, for that lovely performance. Next, we've got four girls performing for us, and they'll be performing for us March, followed by Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy, who is composed by... Tchaikovsky. Oh, you got it, right. Tchaikovsky. Great. Can the four girls come up? And a round of applause.
Awesome. Now we're going to play one of the funnest games universally played. It's called musical chairs. So me and Isabel are going to prepare some chairs for the kids. So we're going to stop the camera now and we'll be back very soon. See you later.